Hello coders, I hope you are coding well. In the previous video, we called delete employee API from our React application. And from today, we will work on update employee feature. And on the click of this update button, we will redirect the user to update employee component. And on that component, we will show similar kind of the form where we need to fill the data of the selected employee. And to fill the data, we need to create an API which will get the employee details by the ID. And in today's video, we will create that get employee by ID API in our Spring Boot application. So let's get started. So in our Spring Boot application, we will open employee service. And here we will create a new method. And this method will return employee and we can name this method as get employee by id and after this in the params we need to accept the id so we will mention long and we will name this as id and in the body of this method we will write return statement and we will use our employee repository and here we will use existing jpa method which is find by id and it will return one optional employee and in the params we need to pass the id and because this method is returning optional employee so it can be null so to handle that null we will use or else and in this case we will return null from this method and with this our get employee method is completed in the employee service now let's open the employee controller and let's write the endpoint here and at the end of the file we will start writing the method and this method will return response entity and we can name this method as get employee by id and after this we need to get the employee id from the url and to do that we will mention at the rate path variable annotation and the data type of this will be long and we can name this as id and in the body of this method we will create the object of employee and we will name this as employee and after this we will use employee service and we will call get employee by id method and in the params we will pass id and after this we need to check this employee and if this employee is null then we will return not found in the response otherwise we will return employee with the status of 200 ok and to do that we will write one if condition and here we will check our employee if it is equal to null and in this case we will write return statement and we will return response entity dot not found and after this we will build it and in the else case we will write return statement and we will use response entity dot ok and in the body we will send employee and at the end we will annotate this method with at the rate get mapping annotation and for the url we will set it as slash employee slash id and the id is the variable here so that's why we wrapped it around the curly braces and with this our get employee by id api is completed now let's rerun our application and as you can see our application is up without any errors now let's go to the postman and let's validate the functionality of get employee by id api and in the postman from the types we need to select the get type and after this we will write the basic url which is http localhost 8080 slash api and after this we need to write the api url which is employee slash id now before calling the api let's go to the workbench and let's see what data we have in the employee table and in the mysql workbench let's click on this icon to view the data of the employee and as you can see we have one record with the id 5 now let's go back to the postman and for the id we will send it as 5 and after this let's click on this send button and as you can see we got the employee with the id 5 now let's go to the url and let's change it to 50 and we should get not found from our spring boot application so let's click on this send button and as you can see we got 404 not found in the response and that's it for today's video 
in the next video we will create update employee component in the react application and we will call this get employee by id api from there